Hey guys, welcome to Rest's channel, the fleet management solution for car rental businesses. Uh, in this episode, we want to share with you really great news. Uh, we are excited to announce that Rensys now supports card authorization through the payment system Stripe. This option will enhance the security and convenience of transaction for all our users using Rensys. And in this episode, I want to share with you how this feature works. So let, let's get started. Going for admin panel. Uh, of course, uh, this feature works uh, with the Stripe, so definitely you will need to have active account with the integrated inside payment method as a Stripe account, okay? So pay attention that you have active account Stripe, authorize it, uh, connect it, and uh, next you can uh, work uh, with the card authorization option here with the business model with reservation and leasing as well. So uh, let me show you how the feature works. Uh, I want to pay attention that uh, authorization works according to rentals, according to your reservation, not for customers. So, and that means uh, you have uh, four different orders, right? But with the same customer. So when you make uh, authorization request with the card for, for the for the for the customer, let's say for this order, let's go in. There will be card authorized for this order. Right, you can see authorized card, card saved, and it's work. You can charge your customer anytime. Uh, but if I will go uh, for the other reservation, let's say Honda, right, you can see there is a pending status right now, right? Okay, uh, let me show you another sample, for instance, with the Tiguan, okay. To show you how you can send a request for authorized customer cards. So here we have a good sample, and let me show you how works the feature. So you can see uh, there was already was some transaction. Let's delete it to make it a full amount, which is need to do balance to pay it right. So there you can see two bottoms. The first will be send payment link for customer email, and the second will be redirection to payment gateway. So same. Uh, method like you have linking to the uh, payment link for customer you will be able to send requests for customer side directly to his email or just quickly open it from here so you can open it from here here is the link on it so this link okay uh, you can see like the full information about the uh, customer and you will be able to add uh, the card information here. So we will make a transaction right now uh, authorization or you can send it to your customer email. So let's send it. Let's wait out for a few seconds while I, I, this will be go for my email. Yeah, one moment, please. Yeah, okay, we have it. Great, so let me change to my Gmail right now. So that's my Gmail as a customer, right? And you can see card authorization here. So I can connect as a customer my payment card here. So pay attention that, uh, yeah, that I will be linking the fake uh, card, so it's not the real one, so pay attention for it. All right. So this is a fake uh, card, guys, so uh, pay attention for it, All right? All right, and safe card. So I'm processing safe card right now. Okay, you can see green line and uh, it will be show you like uh, success payment because it's like going as a reservation page confirmation with the payment so at this time at the same time a customer will receive the email uh, with the payment success all right and in this time uh, on this reservation there will be also you will see that this card was saved and you can work with this order and payments by your side now so when customer link it right uh it's uh, saving automatically his card and when you will do any uh charges let me show you payment uh card let's say 
any amount you need it, right? So add it, and now you can see there is a button called charge. So you can charge automatically right now uh, the money from customer card automatically without any additional requests uh, to customer site until it's saved and authorized for your uh, site inside this order, until you remove this card inside. So let's charge it. Okay, we have a paid, we have success here. It means that customer uh, should receive email with payment success now on his email. And as you can see, uh, there is an option like to, uh, you can see that this was paid already. So same uh, when this order will be closed, for instance, and uh, sometimes it's happening that you close the order and uh, after two weeks or months even, you can uh, receive the tolls or penalties uh, from customer side for, for this reservation. And you need to charge him about the uh, some uh, tolls or penalties. So you will be able easy to do that. Uh, because uh, when you like link it, the, the card for this order, you can go back in time to revert, revert it back from done to reserved and uh, charge customer again uh, if you have any uh, options for penalties. So this is how it works, guys. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, this is really powerful option, so we definitely recommend to try it because uh, you will be fully secure about penalties and all the security policy for your company. Uh, hope to see you with us and uh, automate your business with Rainsist. Cheers. See you in the next video, guys.